I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, six pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. Who are you? Damn it, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it versus con, more like it. I, I don't get it, I don't get it. If you love the film, cool, I don't get it. You just say, well, Matt, the title, the title. Yeah, you know what, I would like the title if it was in it for more than 13 fucking minutes of a two-hour movie. In which, spoilers... What, 50% of the film is about the Hollow Earth, 40% of the film is about the rebirth of Mecha-fucking-Godzilla, like I give a shit, and 10% is the fucking title! I was kidding! I was halfway joking when I did a video a month or two ago, where I got Babin v Superman vibes. I was fucking kidding! You tear me apart, Mothra! They both told each other their moms are Mo Mothra! God damn it. There's barely any verses in a versus movie, and then they team up to fight Doomsday. And they, they war at each other. For I know they did say fucking Mothra, because I don't speak Kananese or Zillanese. So they're both staring at each other while Godzilla's ready to make Team Khan smell his feet. Thinking Khan's got a Tarantino foot fetish. And they're both roaring at each other. Oh, I know they did say Martha. And then Godzilla doesn't kill Team Kong. So maybe, wait, my name, my mom's name is Mothra too. I was fucking kidding with the Batman v Superman shit. Oh, man. You're supposed to like it. What am I supposed to like? Millie Bobby Brown coasting on her Stranger Things fame? Because that's all she did here. A fucking goofy, annoying podcaster who bleaches, uh, sh he showers with bleach, because that's a tidbit of this character. Oh, he makes his own hand sanitizer? Good, ma make his lube and shove your fists up your ass. This goofy, funny podcaster that isn't funny, is annoying, and he's in the realm of I don't give a shitville. Oh, and then some deep, fat deep, well, I shouldn't worry about his weight, I shouldn't talk about that. But he's just some deep... Who just idea to stop Mechagodzilla by pouring a fucking flask of whiskey on a fucking computer. Spicing just put a grenade at the computer. Oh, because it's directed by Adam Wenbag, the director of Blair Bitch from 2016. The future director of Thundercats and Face Off 2, great. And his version will be Thundercunts. You tear me apart, Mothra. Like, what am I supposed to love? A whole bunch of shit about the Hollow Earth. I saw more real shit in the core. <laughs> For the three people that remember that movie. I'd rather watch that movie than this. Because that movie's fun. I think that movie actually knows it's dumb. And it's fun. This movie... <sighs> Khan is a bitch. And I like Team Khan. I like this movie a lot. Godzilla 2014, I didn't like. It was a fucking cock tease. Gigantic fucking cock tease. Teen of the Monsters, I thought it was meh. And the more I thought about it, the more I'm like, 
This was just lame. Now I thought I just lame and kind of shitty. Of these MonsterVerse movies, this is the one I liked the most. Why? Because I like King Kong. I like the way the director shot the scenes. You have crazy shit like a Cannibal Holocaust reference where a guy gets a... I like that it takes place in the 70s. The Vietnam era. Using the music of that era. John C. Riley was an actual interesting human character. Holy shit balls of fury and fire. Constal Island rules. It's fun. It's entertaining. It's fast paced. I don't give a fuck. I like Godzilla. I don't give a fuck about this Godzilla and his fat ass. She get some fucking aerobic, aerobics. Get the Stairmaster or a Thighmaster. This fat ass Godzilla. Oh, you're not a Godzilla fan. Well, that's funny because I like the original Godzilla because of its serious story it's trying to tell. It's trying to give a nod to uh, the atomic bomb and the horrors of that. These movies aren't about that. Godzilla... They're ancient rivals. So I don't know if Godzilla got the fire breath from the atomic bomb. Or is that part of his ancient rival rivalry. The ancient species. Or was he a regular dinosaur. Then became the super Godzilla. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway I should mention this is a. The only reason I saw this. This was a paid request. It was a paid request. If anyone wants to send in a paid request. For pretty much anything. Topic, random, review, re-review, reaction, me playing a game, me talking about anything, a list, just review anything, pretty much anything. Feel free to send either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both things are down below in the info box. I'm sure people will be pissed at me, so that won't happen. Just a lot of, If you love the film, that's cool. But yet again, we have shitty human characters taking the majority of the film. Well, someone's going to say, well, Matt, in the past... No, I don't give a fuck about the past. That's an excuse. People go, well, they have shitty human characters in the past. Then you know what you do? Better. You do something called better. Well, in the past Godzilla films, the human characters were shit. That's what a lot of people will say. That's why you can't say it about this movie. So, you're saying that's a trend? They should continue. You're saying the shitty human characters in the past... Some people would disagree with you, but to the people who do and say, hey, that's fine. No, you do better. This film, I liked John C. Riley. His character was interesting. Interesting backstory, sense of humor. Nice art to the character where he's able to get home after being away from them for decades. You know what makes films like this and this work? Because you like the humans. The monsters are cool, but you like the human characters. I like Val. I like Earl. I like... Yeah, Roy Scheider. Yeah, Robert Shaw. Yeah, Hooper, Quint, Brody, Richard Dreyfus. I mean, and then there's Fred Ward, Kevin. But you like the human characters. So you can deal when the monsters are not on screen. You have something to enjoy. That's what made these films work exceptionally well. See, I do this. I don't know if the poster will be there. So if I'm covering up, this is what I mean. Hooper, Quint, Brody, Val, Earl, Burt Gummer. Who the fuck are you going to remember in this movie? Billy, Millie Bobby Brown being Millie Bobby Brown. And I'm getting fucking sick and tired of seeing her, honestly. Because she doesn't do much of shit. And I get it. You're not expecting an Oscar. But what is this thing where, well, if it's not an Oscar contender or it's shit, there's not a wide spectrum in the middle? Someone's going to say, <laughs> this guy, Matt, he thought this would be an Oscar contender. It's a Godzilla vs. Khan movie. What do you expect? How about Godzilla fucking fighting Khan? Maybe, that, maybe the story is about the title? Maybe that's what I expected. Most of the movie's not about them fighting. Well, what do you expect? A two-hour monster mash? No, because the budget would not include that. The budget would have to be insane to include that amount of carnage. But the story isn't really about that because most of the story's about this uh, deaf girl 
doing sign language to, to Team Cohen. Let's find you a new home to the Hollow Earth. And we get this guy, Alexander Sarsgaard, and some other lady, and they go on this journey to the core of the Earth, which is all hollow, apparently. The Hollow Earth. Don't get me started on that shit. And then the other 30... 40% of the movie is Millie Bobby Brown, some geek with glasses, and some funny, goofy podcaster who's a conspiracy theorist who bleaches, he showers with bleach. They go on this fucking journey, then get on this fucking monorail to Hong Kong, then, oh my god, King Dedora, he's being used, and the son of the guy in the, the Asian guy. Ishiro Shirozawa. Ishiro Shirozawa. Which I didn't mind him in the previous films. Apparently his son is a jackass. And will telepathically link to Mechagodzilla as if it's Pacific fucking Rim. But apparently they also have the program so that even if it disconnects, Mechagodzilla can just go on by himself. Which is a shitty fucking plan. Apex. More like Ajax. Because he's been sniffing it like they think it's fucking cocaine. <laughs> They might as well be sniffing the Ajax fucking cleaner. I knew I was in trouble at the beginning of this fucking film. Okay, Team Con, cool, I like Con Star Island. Nice to see Con back. Oh, he's stretching out. He goes to the water. He scratches his ass. I'm not kidding. He scratches his ass. I'm waiting for Smash Mouth's All-Star. This is the fucking opening of Shrek. That's what it is. It's the opening of Shrek. I'm waiting for, hey now, you're an our star. I can't talk, fuck, or play. Hey now, can't say my words. I'm fucking up. Okay, fuck you, Adam Wingard. You can suck my dick. You'll fuck up Thundercats. I fucking knew it because it's the guy who did the Blair Witch 2016 film. And somehow they thought this is the guy to do this movie. Because Blair Witch 2016 was so much of a good fucking movie. As kind of a guy who loved the 1999 Blair Witch Project. And even I thought his Blair Witch 2016 sucked something called dick. So yeah, that's the way this film opens up some shitty music about... There's a girl, she's waiting for me. A girl awaits for me. Because it's the little deaf girl. Because Team Con's now like Consto Island. An entire fucking dome is around it. Made, I guess, from Mr. Burns. Just Mr. Burns. What well, Apex did. But, you know, might as well be Mr. Burns. And he's scratching his eyes. I'm getting... He might as well have a gigantic outhouse. Like I said, in my mind... All Star by Smash Mouth started playing. Hey now, you're an All Star. If you see the film, you probably think it too. Hey, maybe not. Teach their own. Again, if you like the film, cool. I would love to know why. That's a sincere question. If you tell me, she's a Godzilla versus Khan. That's 13, 12 minutes of the movie. 40 minutes in, you get a 5 minute scene. And those 5 minutes are mixed in with humans reacting and humans and fighter jets trying to escape. What, Khan punches Godzilla a couple times? Godzilla drags his ass down, ready to drown his ass like a bitch in heat. And the only reason Khan gets saved is the humans... Put some depth charges. Because apparently every fucking monster battle has to have the humans save Godzilla. Or save Team Khan. They did it in this movie. And I let it go. Because, hey, Khan, he's in the early stages of his, of his life. He's in the early stages. He's younger. Because this takes place in the 1970s. I let it go. Let it go. But now I'm pissed off for all. I ain't gonna let it go because they, they keep doing it in every fucking one of these movies. Because the humans had to be so important. Fuck the humans. By the way, that thing I said earlier. Well, you can't have a two hour movie where it's just them. You know what? I'd love to see that. I'd love to see someone try. Have the balls and the money. 
because that's what it takes money to do it. Because I've never seen that before. Have you seen that before? Have you seen a two-hour movie where King Khan is literally the star and it's him going to all these up and down skirmishes against Godzilla? Because that's not what this movie is. Yeah, it is. Really? Did we see the same movie? No, it's a deaf girl helping King Khan get to a fucking ship. They're going on the ship to go to this portal to the hollow earth. And apparently you go a thousand miles in seconds because of some, I forget the actual device. What it's called. So make a hole right through the entire fucking earth. And then in the hollow earth is a whole new world to the Aladdin song where there's a whole bunch of monsters and shit in there including a, that's where King Kong's people came from I thought they came from well I was going to say I thought they came from Skull Island but I guess this is where they originally originally came from I don't know what's wrong with Skull Island you could just leave it there fuck the hollow earth shit Take all that shit out and have the story actually be about Godzilla wants to kill Khan. Uh, why does he want to do it? Oh, he wants to be Alpha? Well, Khan's busy doing his fucking thing. Apparently, I guess that's why he wasn't killing the monsters. Because they made a whole fucking dome around him. You would think maybe someone would be like, hey, you know what? Maybe we should get Team Khan to come in here and help us out. Apparently, that idea wasn't around... Just a few years ago. I mean Godzilla. Tino the Monster didn't come out that fucking long ago. Did it? Was it two years ago? So I guess in two years. Team Con found this deaf girl. Or the deaf girl found her. And then got him to do what the fuck. He, she wanted. Called Jane Austen's tin or something. I don't know. Maybe Coco the Gorilla has some offspring. That you fucking. Call the gorilla from Congo. Have him use her fucking techno gibberish. Yes, I would rather watch Congo than this. Because more shit happens in Congo. You know what I like in Congo? I like the characters. I like the personality. The beating my sesame cake. I like Ernie Hudson. He's a badass. Even the girl's a badass. Getting a laser. Cutting gorilla's arms off and torsos off in half. Tim Curry being Tim Curry. Yeah, I'd rather watch fucking Congo than this. I'll take a Congo line to go watch Congo. Again, if you... You know what this should have been? If you worried about this Hollow Earth shit. And Team Kong definitely has more screen time. Godzilla only pops up when there's a fight. Well, tell you, he pops up one time to destroy this Apex facility at the beginning of the film. They had to, that's in the mystery of Team Kong waking up and scratching his ass to take a bath. Yeah, because we all need Team Kong scratching his ass. For the first time we see this motherfucker. You should have done a Team Kong 2. Do a Team Kong 2. Travel to the, the Middle Earth. Hollow Earth, I should say. And then, okay, he's battling all these monsters, all these creatures. Make him establish how he is in today's age. Since the first film takes place in the 70s. And then build up to your verses. And have it actually be about the verses. This is like Batman v Superman. They say it's going to be about the verses. And it's not. It's a small portion of it. And then they team up and fight a greater th threat. I was right about that. They team up. They fight Mecha Godzilla. Well, technically, Godzilla gets his shit owned by Mecha because they made Godzilla a pussy in that scene. <laughs> like Team Con's a pussy to Godzilla. Godzilla's a pussy to Mecha Godzilla. But then somehow Team Con owns Mecha Godzilla <laughs> with a little help because Godzilla gives powers. Khan's axe that he stole from Thor in Avengers Infinity War. I don't know who the fuck made that axe. I guess his ancestors are that smart to make an axe and a fucking throne. I get it that he's called King Khan, but 
That doesn't mean you need an actual fucking throne for him. What's next? A crown? For his troubled brow? To have Arnold Schwarzenegger? I, 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 I can't do Schwarzenegger ass to save my life. That'd be funny though. Schwarzenegger voicing King Kong as Conan. He's got his throne. Got his fucking axe. Might as well have a fucking crown. On a troubled brow. I'm going all over the fucking place. I know because... what I see this praise and if you liked it, that's cool. I'm not going to make fun of you if you liked it. I know I'll do a lot of shit, but I'm not going to lie. I just, god damn it, what am I supposed to like in the film but 10 minutes? 10 minutes? Does 10 minutes equal a good movie if it's 2 hours? You said, th fine, 13, 13 minutes. Does that equal, okay, you add in King Kong, fuck up back to Godzilla. That's another 2 minutes of him doing it. So 15 minutes, I'll give you 15 minutes to be fair. 15 minutes in a 2 hour movie. And even the first Resturgeon, I didn't give a shit about. Them being on the ship in the water, I, I barely even call that a fight. That was barely a fight. But you know, people again. I'm just saying the screen time that they're actually together. Fifteen minutes, two hour movie. If the if the rest of the movie was worth the shit, can you really say you give a shit about any of these characters? Well, who's the girl? What's her name? That was with the deaf girl. Alexander Sarsgaard. What's his character's name? Millie Bobby Brown. Name the, the, the podcaster of TTP. Titan Truth Podcast. More like TP. From a bunhole. Like where this movie belongs. God damn it, man. Okay, let me go back. I know I'm going to repeat myself, but let me... Get linear with this. You have the goofy podcaster who's not funny. He's also an engineer. He gets into this place and he, all these jokes about he makes hand, hand sanitizer, homemade. Oh, you go in the toilet, you gotta go number one or number two. Uh, hey, you go number two, probably these apples you're eating. Shove the apples up your ass. Then there's an attack. Godzilla, and I was wrong about this. I will admit, I thought Godzilla was Mecha Godzilla in disguise. Because I thought there'd be a bit more of an intricate explanation as to why Godzilla is bad. No. He just notices that... He just knows they're making machine to go against him. He just knows. I guess he can sense the, the Mecha Godzilla. He, he just senses it. It's a sixth sense. I, I guess I thought there'd be more of an intricate plot to that. Yes, I know it's a Godzilla vs. Khan, but at least a little bit more than just... He feels it. He just feels it. That's why he's an asshole. And he's kind of a bad guy, but not really. He's killing innocent people and soldiers. Because not, not all of them had anything to do with it. So there are innocent people dying... But oh, oh well, it's Godzilla. Shit happens. Because the director doesn't want to make Godzilla the villain. Because that was one of my things when this was brought up, this idea. 90%, 95%, I'll go to 90. 90% like Godzilla, love Godzilla, and want Godzilla to win. And feel Godzilla would win no matter what. So if 90% feel that way... Then what the fuck is the point of the fight? What's the point of the fight if 90% of you know, think, and better sure that Godzilla will win? Then what the fuck's the point of the fight? In all honesty. I guess the director thought the same way because there's barely that in the movie even though that's the fucking title. If this was called Con 2 Hollow Earth... Seriously, if this was called Con Hollow Earth... It'd be a more appropriate title. Guest appearance by Godzilla. Cameo by Mecha Godzilla. That's really what it is. Should just made a Team Con too. 
So the, the, the goofy, annoying podcaster, Godzilla attacks the place. They're like, why is he so pissed? Why is Godzilla so pissed? Meanwhile, Team Kong wakes up, does his Shrek impersonation. All Star is not playing, but might as fucking well be scratches his ass. Might as well put a finger up his ass. Uh, is the sh stupid fucking song to literally tell you, there's a girl waiting for, a girl waits for me. Because the little girl, because she's a girl. The song choices are shitty too. Especially after this. The song choices in this were cool. Because it's 70s Vietnam era. One of the reasons, many reasons why I enjoy the film. Here, when they're bringing Godzilla on the water. You know what the fuck's playing? Loving Arms by Elvis Presley. Why? W Loving Arms? I'm like, is this fucking Elvis I like Elvis Presley. What the fuck is he doing in the scene? So yeah, podcaster, don't give a fuck about him. Oh, who cares about the human characters? When they're 80, 85% of the movies, the human characters, and you don't give a shit, guess what? There are movies that you can, you can, you can do it with. Well, Godzilla films in the past. No, like I said, that's an excuse. If, if you feel they did not do well in the past, you do it better. You do it better. Yes, I would rather take the characters and the 1998 Godzilla because they actually have personality. Well, except the Matthew Broderick's girlfriend. Fuck her. But John Renault, Hank Azaria, they actually had personality and fun to their characters. I'd rather really hang out with those characters than anybody in this fucking movie. Millie Bobby Brown... Hey, I'm my fame from Stranger Things. I'm coasting along for my 15 minutes because... She, She's offering nothing else. There's nothing to her character. Nothing. Jack shit. The 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 kid with the glasses, other than talking about the only type of computers is to download movies and pirate them. And uh let me take your flask of alcohol, pour it on here, fucked up Mecha Godzilla, yay! I'm not kidding, that's what happens. So the deaf girl signs sign language with Team Khan, who's in his containment dome. Well, if he leaves, Godzilla will come for him. They're ancient enemies. Okay, why? Why are they ancient enemies? The ancient enemy thing. Why don't you go into that? Why don't you go into that story? Why are they ancient enemies? How did that come about? How about a flashback showing older Godzilla's King Kong's fighting? That's actually part of the story of your title of your movie? No, we gotta worry too much about uh, Goofy Podcaster and Millie Bobby Brown and God taking a monorail to Hong Kong. We gotta worry more about Hollow Earth. They're ancient enemies. Why are they ancient enemies? What's the story behind that? Can you tell me anything about that? You think this would be the movie to do it? Did Godzilla do all the Godzillas back then? Have the... Oh, was that because of the... Well, how were the... If that was because of a atomic bomb, how were the older Godzillas? How were they like? What did they look like? What did they do? If they all had that, then how the fuck did they die? They just stand in the army... To all the team cons. Like, show me, tell me, talk to me, give me the story. You don't. Why? Because Adam Wingard sucks my balls, that's why. And now he's doing Face Off 2 and Thundercats. Oh, great. I look forward to this guy doing Thundercats. Are the Thundercats going to fight for only 15 minutes as well? <laughs> Fuck this guy. Give a shit. So the ancient enemies. Love to know more about that. Tough titty. Alexander Sarsgaard got a hollow earth theorist. The guy to search for a power source into the hollow earth. And the only reason we do that is this power source is going to source up and hook up to Mechagodzilla. Because we need Mechagodzilla. Why do we need Mechagodzilla in this film? 
and Teen Tom vs. Godzilla. Someone tell me that. Why do we need Mecha Godzilla in this? Because they, this is why. Because they're not sure they will have future movies. It's like Batman v Superman. It's like Zack Snyder has the same problem. He forces all this shit into one movie. I'm going to do The Dark Knight Returns, and I'm going to do The Death of Superman, and I'm going to do these t Batman Superman meeting, and I'm going to have Wonder Woman, and I'm going to have, holy shit, The Justice League, all in one movie. The last movie, I'm going to have Mothra, and I'm going to have Rodan, and I'm going to have Team Dora. Which, I would just use that a little bit more than Batman v Superman, but it's just... Hell, if that's the case, I'd rather have, if, I don't know, man. You know what I would love to see? This Team Con versus GMK, the Godzilla in that movie. Y if you've never seen, go, go watch GMK, Godzilla, Mothra, no, yeah, Godzilla, Mothra, Team Ghidorah, all monsters out. It's a sh stupid fucking title. The worst title in the Godzilla series. I just shortened it to GMK. Type up GMK. That Godzilla is a fucker. Deadite. -eyed, white eyes. He looks like a deadite from Evil Dead. He's a badass motherfucker. Team Kong be the underdog to that motherfucker. It'd be like Rocky versus Ivan Drago. You can't win, Kong. You can't win. And Team Con, hearts on fire, taking fucking trees. Like Godzilla, he's on the mountain. Godzilla, Godzilla. Yeah, th this uh, GMT that the Godzilla that's ready and willing to kill any innocent people. That Godzilla kills the deaf girl. I know that's harsh. And King Kong's pissed. And he's the underdog. And he's bloodied up. Cut me, bitch. Cut me. And then he's the underdog and he's fucking up the GMT Godzilla. You know. Yeah, fuck you. you know. I want to see that movie, please. Why can't I see that movie? Because we can't piss... You piss off both, but you can't piss off both. So... One will fall. Well, I guess technically Godzilla won. Technically. Which I'm like, I don't give a fuck about this Godzilla. So even that pissed me off. Because I don't give a fuck about... Why should I give a shit about this Godzilla? Because he fought some putos named Mutos? Because he... Because, uh... He's team of the monsters, even though he barely won against Team Ghidorah. Because the fucking humans had to help his sorry ass. Because the humans always have to help. But in the past... Fuck the past! Why are you honing on, on the past? You're saying, because it's done the past, that you have to repeat it. No! In fact, that goes into more my territory, as in... Go different! Right, just because it's different doesn't automatically make it good. But just like... If you did it, if you're saying, well, they did it in the past, then that's more of a favor to not do it again. God damn it. This is the... So yeah, you have the Team Con stuff. Then you have the the fucking I think the something's provoking Godzilla. Oh yeah, we're on the, the ocean. Con is in chains. They're going to where the hollow earth to get down there. While Elvis Presley's loving arms is playing. Why? What the fuck does that have to do with the scene? How's that appropriate? You might as well have, I don't know. I did not down, but yep, I did. You never want to take me down. You might as well have that. F you might as well. Be it'd be just as appropriate. Godzilla arrives. He's a good guy, but he's murdered a bunch of fucking people here. He murdered a bunch of people. 
but he's still a, a kind of a good guy. Fuck, fuck him. Teen Kong gets a few punches, then dread down. Teen Kong being a bitch, and the humans have to save him by giving depth charges. And Teen Kong gets up and he passes out. Well, that's one round for fucking Godzilla. Uh, it barely even called a fight. More like a bitch slap. So they go down to the Hollow Earth. Khan is going. He fucking slips and he falls while Alexander Sarsgaard, the deaf girl, and the other lady and these others are going down with Khan. Hollow Earth. There's a um, a minute and a half scene where he, Khan is fighting these creatures. And yet again... The creature's ready to kill Khan. The humans have to save him. And then Khan kills it. Every fucking fight, the humans have to... They have to interact. Every fight... I've seen a lot of Godzilla films. Team Khan, they haven't made that many. I like the 1933 Team Khan. The 70s Team Khan I could deal with. I really enjoy this one. And again, I know the humans help him in this. It's one of my nitpicks. But okay, maybe they'll do... No, they do the same fucking thing. The fucking winged creature's ready to suffocate Team Con. The, the good guys shoot on it. And then Team Con's able to, to kill it. Every fucking time, like, can't... Like the motherfuckers, like the guy said in the last film, let them fight. Just let them fucking fight. Get the fuck out of the way, humans. What? Please, get the fuck out of my face. That's what I want to say. Get the fuck out of my face, please. You fucking maracones. <sighs> Can he do something without the human's help? Or is that against the fucking monster verse law that I don't know about? So Millie Bobby Brown <laughs> Where's Wendy Houston? <laughs> Rest in peace, Whitney. Millie Ron Bobby Brown. Millie Bobby Brown. And the two, they arrive, they look around, they're building Mecha Godzilla. They're, they're building it because they want to take care of the real Godzilla and the humans will be the true alphas. With that energy, why don't you just make a fucking weapon, a fucking cannon, a fucking gun to put on a plane, a train, an automobile, a goddamn motorcycle, but you gotta build an actual fucking Mecha Godzilla. Did they put in Godzilla's image just to piss him off? No, they did because there was a Mecha Godzilla in the past. But like, if you have all this energy, why don't you just make a big fuck off gun, or a shitload of guns, and you'll, you know, or something, man, or something that flies. You know, but it doesn't. I mean, I, actually, this Mecha Godzilla tits Khan's ass like a bitch in heat. I'll get to that. I mean, a Mecha God yeah, Godzilla, the actual Godzilla's ass like a bitch in heat. And again, Sarazawa's kid, which he's barely a character in this, it's just, oh yeah, that guy who died in Team the Monsters and he was in 2014, let him fight. He had a son. And that's really all you know about this guy. And he's linked into it, like he's Patrick Stewart and X Men. And then somehow they just disconnected, but then Mechagodzilla can still do what the fuck he wants because he is part of King Ghidorah. Again, like Batman v Superman, Doomsday was a part of Zod. Mechagodzilla was a part of King Ghidorah. I didn't even think about that. Oh my god. <laughs> It is Batman v Superman all over again. Doomsday was part of Zod. Mecha Godzilla was part of Tintador. Holy shit! Oh my god! Dude, <laughs> I was joking with the Batman v Superman shit. I was joking. <laughs> god. I think what pisses me off is that, okay, 
Godzilla vs. Khan, I don't know how you could do it. It's a hard thing to do. That's why I'm not looking forward to it. But I would love to be surprised. Uh, the only way you could do it, you'd have to have a shitload of money. In my opinion. The shitload of money being either you made two films where one Team Khan's a badass, one Godzilla's a badass. And this is for Khan fans, this is for Godzilla fans. Or two, you really do... Take a pick and make one a villain. To me, Godzilla is a villain and King Kong is an underdog. Because he would naturally be the underdog. But that would piss off a lot of Godzilla fans. I'm like, well, if Godzilla... That's an... If you look at, like, GMK, Godzilla's a villain in that. And me and a lot of people love that film. If, that, if you had a Godzilla that was a badass motherfucker, you just have him killing... Monsters left and right. Like he did in GMT. Have a GMT Godzilla and an underdog. There's no way he can win. Like Rocky Balboa. <laughs> to Godzilla's Ivan Drago. But no one would want to see my version. So that's why they don't make it. People love this film. They want to see this version. You can have it. We agree to disagree. Again, it's like, of a two-hour movie, like 13 minutes. That doesn't equal a good movie to me. Even a good monster movie. I can watch the entire movie of this. I can watch the entire movie of, of this. What the fuck am I supposed to watch in this? Millie Bobby Brown? Hey, remember me from Stranger Things? I don't give a fuck. Stranger Things was overrated anyway. I just saw season one for the first time, at least most of it. It was okay at best, but I don't think it was the great, that great of a show. It was a bit fucking overrated in my opinion. It's okay, but it wasn't a 10 out of 10 perfect show amazing either. That's just my opinion. It was okay. Okay. And she was good on the show, but she hasn't really stretched any... Anything. Her character is nothing interesting about her. I'm not asking for Oscar caliber. I'm asking something that's worth a shit. So like I said, in Hollow Earth, Khan finds out, I guess, where his ancient ancestors were at. There's a big fucking axe that he stole from Thor from Avenger, Avengers Infinity War. And then there's a big throne. I'm like, who the fuck built all this shit? Did all of the apes build this shit too? So they built the axe, I guess? I guess, you know, they're part cavemen. I mean, to be fair, Team Khan does do sign language. At least he doesn't do the middle finger like... The one in Rampage with Dwayne the Rod Johnson. Although to be honest, I, I might want to watch that over this. Sad to fucking say. Cause Dwayne the Rod Johnson, I still like Dwayne the Rod Johnson, even though I don't think it was that good of a movie Rampage. But Dwayne the Rod Johnson is better than anybody in this movie. Cause he's got charisma, even if the projects are lesser than. Then, uh, I mean, I just rather go watch the rundown, honestly. But I'm just saying, between Gun to My Head, this, or Rampage, I probably would rather watch Rampage. That's fucking sad. God damn it. So, he's not wearing this jeweled crown upon a troubled brow. Instead, Godzilla, I guess, sensed King Kong, which, uh, okay, now this confuses me again. He was attacking Apex Industries because he sensed something wrong. He's in Hong Kong. The, the Becca Godzilla is nearby. That's why he went to Hong Kong in the first place. He sensed something wrong. So, it's, I don't know, within probably five miles of Godzilla. 
So instead, he further senses down the entire fucking earth. He blasts <sighs> through the entire fucking earth and creates a hole all the way down the earth. So that Tien Kong will look up and then he climbs up. So did Tien Kong also go through that portal? Th like how they got there, did he take the same thing back? Because this was a different uh, place. You know, uh, how do I explain it? You do know it's pretty fucking far from the top surface to the hollow earth. But Team Kong got there quicker when he was going back. Quicker than I could make a trip to fucking McDonald's. And when they went in, this was like over here. And there was some like portal thing. Was there one here? Godzilla just blasted all the way down. How the fuck did Team Kong get all the way back up? In literally minutes. Is Team Kong the Flash? Uh, how the fuck did that happen? Someone's going to explain that to me. Well, the the portal. Where's the portal in that? Team Godzilla just... All the way down, made a hole. He just made the hole. So what What portal is he going to... What? Apparently we're supposed to believe... The, the way it looked, it doesn't show it either. It doesn't show Team Kong going whoop. The way the movie shows as if Team Kong actually climbed from the hollow earth all the fucking way to the surface. How the fuck did he do that in five minutes? He probably couldn't do that in five days. I didn't even think about it. How the fuck did that happen? How? Someone please explain to me, please. Don't give me a portal stuff. That was somewhere else. M maybe it's something I missed. If so, I apologize. Let me move on. The axe doesn't do shit much to the Godzilla. Well, what the axe does is he able to block Godzilla's death ray. Atomic Breath. That's what it's for, really. It's more so to just destroy Mecha Godzilla, which he wouldn't know at the time, but for its first purpose, he doesn't really... Do well, he cuts... He hits Godzilla at, like, the thigh or something, to be fair. Now, a positive... Hong Kong, the way the city looks, the battle between Godzilla and Kong... Khan did get some hits in. Those five minutes were cool. That was a cool five or so minutes. I'll give you that. But it's only five fucking minutes. Okay, this movie's an A+. I apologize. Those five minutes were good. A+. Plus. <laughs> no. You, do, you could go on YouTube and watch that. When the only good parts of the film you watch in 10 minutes or so, there's something wrong with the movie. The score? I don't remember the fucking score. And then Godzilla whips Teen Kong's ass like a bitch in heat. Godzilla literally bent Teen Kong over, fucked him in the ass with his fat ass tail, and made him cry uncle. Go home and cry to mama. He stepped on Team Khan. I was ready for Godzilla to straddle Team Khan, shove his fucking cock in the monkey's mouth. I go, buddha, 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 da, 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 Island, more like stole thought. Punt made monkey bitch. That's really what they made Team Khan. And they do roar at each other, so maybe they did say Martha or Mothra in Zillanese or Kananese. Mothra. Why did you say that name? The Demiel Park Mothra. God damn it. Khan is pretty much dying. And yet it, they do the same shit they did in Teen of the Monsters. Teen of the Monsters. 
Godzilla's pretty much dead. They had to find a way to whoop, bring him back to life. Kong's pretty much dead. They had to find a way to go whoop, bring him back to life. It's the same fucking thing we saw in Teen of the Monsters. Animal dead, or almost dead. Humans, zoop. Nothing really that creative. God damn it. Then Godzilla fights Mechagodzilla. And Mechagodzilla makes Godzilla his bitch. So I would think if you're a Godzilla fan, you'd be pissed off. Like, what the fuck? Mechagodzilla is owning Godzilla like a punk ba Like a punk. I don't pay. I don't punk. Well, Godzilla, you should pay because this Mechagodzilla's punking your ass. Shoving his steel cock up your ass. Until you bleed. With no loop. I mean you would think Godzilla could. Oh because of the fight he had with King Kong. Godzilla doesn't look that much worse for wear. But I, I, that's their excuse fine. But I'm like wow. I guess they're like well we're going to have King Kong lose to Godzilla. But we don't want to piss King Kong fans. So we'll have them completely fuck up Mecha Godzilla. Which then we're kind of piss off Godzilla fans. It's like wow Godzilla was a bitch in that scene. And King Kong was a bitch in that scene. There are ways to do this without making him a bitch. Even by losing, it doesn't mean you have to look like a bitch. Look at Rocky 1. Rocky Balboa lost. But no one thought, whoa, he was a bitch. No, he lost, but he went the distance. Th there are ways of doing this, god damn it. Add a wind guard, you fucking idiots. You fucking dumb fucking piece of shit. Fuck you, add a wind guard, wind bat. This guy's getting like tons of jobs. Fuck, man. Kiss my grits. What in the wide world of sports was this shit? So, the Billy Bobby Brown, she really doesn't do shit in this scene. More her friend sees the podcaster has a flask of whiskey, whatever, grabs it, pours it on the control panel. And now, oh, Mecha Godzilla's stunned for a bit. Godzilla to Teen Kong's axe, and then Teen Kong beats the fuck out of Mecha Godzilla. That was cool. I'll give you that. That was a cool scene because I like Teen Kong. You could say they try to give him a character in this movie. I I'll give you I'll give you those three things. They try to make Team Kong a character in this movie, to be fair. The Hong Kong scene, they're about five minutes. And when Team Kong fucks up Metro Godzilla, that was cool. It's another, I don't know, two minutes. To be generous, like, again, 10, 12, 13 minutes. <sighs> then Godzilla gives a look to Team Kong. Then Godzilla just leaves. Which, by the way, they do this whole thing, but Team Con I mean, Godzilla wants to kill Team Khan. He wants to kill Team Khan. But then when he's stepping on Team Khan, he to kill him, he doesn't. What, because Khan roared back at him? I guarantee every fucking creature that Godzilla stepped on would roar back at him. Just for some reason, Godzilla's like, nah, I won't kill him. I went through all this shit to call his ass out from the middle of the fucking earth come and get me bitch and I could kill you but I'm not why because the script says so I'm stepping on you I strike the shit out of your belly I could make you sniff my feet but no nah, I just I, I could I, nope weren't the mutos fucking warring at him when guys that went in the 2014 film but it's like, nah, I'm not going to top of breath you. Because the director told me I can't. Because you got to come back later. Like, come on. Come on. Come on. So Godzilla goes back to the water. Teen Con is in Hollow Earth, his new home. He does one of these. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing that for? You got your ass whipped by Godzilla. Godzilla made you his bitch. He bent you over and fucked you in the ass. 
You were the submissive bitch to Godzilla. Fuck you uh, about. I mean, the movie definitely shows you that Godzilla, is, Team Kong is Godzilla's bitch. I guess that was if that's what you want out of a movie or a waste of Mecha Godzilla, where Godzilla didn't do you know shit to me. You didn't even need Mecha Godzilla. God damn it. Just have it be about the verses. What? It's sad. Freddy vs. Jason might be the best versus movie I could think of. Because they actually do team with the verses for the entire film. It's not like Freddy and Jason team up to fight Michael Myers or Pinhead and the Cenobites or some shit. By the end, it's still Freddy vs. Jason. God damn it, man. If you disagree, cool. Please tell me what's so great about the fucking movie then. Please tell me. Mia culpa, mia culpa. God damn it. God damn Zilla. I know I'm repeating myself again. Please feel free to tell me. A random Elvis Presley song put in there for no goddamn reason. Or good reason. Millie Bobby Brown... Try and get her Stranger Things fame past 15 minutes. Annoying goofball podcaster. Tom, yo, I made this hand sanitizer. I don't give a shit. Use it for lube for all I care. Human characters ain't worth a spit. Yeah, if I don't want to spend 85% of the fucking time with them, I want them to be worth a shit. I don't know why this is a concept that is... People are like, oh, well, no, do better. I don't care what happened in the past. You know what? Those films, they had certain things. They didn't have, they didn't have a budget. They didn't have years and years to look at and go, this is what you should do. This is what you shouldn't do. Some of them people call bad because of bad dubbing. Various other things. And maybe you can enjoy them for nostalgia reasons, or you can enjoy them for campy reasons, or you can enjoy them for dumb fun reasons, or you can enjoy them for their specific reasons. I like Godzilla vs. the Spog Monster. Why? This is a weird, trippy-ass acid trip. And I enjoyed for that. Godzilla vs. Megalon? Nostalgia. Because that was the first one I saw. Jet Jaguar, that, that's a campy movie, but I thought that was a campy fun movie. Final Wars, because it just was fucking insane. That's an insane... Godzilla Final Wars is an insane movie. GMT, I fucking... Most badass Godzilla. Most deadly Godzilla is in GMT. At least villain form. That's a badass motherfucker. GMT would kill everybody in this movie. I'm telling you. Team Con, they did my boy dirty in this. Dirty D's done dirt cheap. Adam Wimbad, you asshole. The Hollow Earth. I don't give a. F I give two shits about the Hollow Earth. There's more about the Hollow Earth than G versus K. This movie was more about the Hollow Earth. Just make Team Con too. About the Hollow Earth. There's more of that than the verses. Sorry, there is. Th that's the case. Had to be bare bad news. That's the movie. Human terrors that are boring. And they suck something called dick. Con scratches his ass. Batman v Superman comparisons. Again, Doomsday, part of Zod. Mecha Godzilla. Part of Didira, Team Didor. Mothra, Martha. Fucking shit. Special effects. We're in the year 2021. You, you think effects would be worth a shit by this point. So. To be fair. If I gotta be fair. The action scenes, they took a page at least from this, 
where put them in daytime or even if it's nighttime, have enough light so you can understand what's going on. Unlike the cock of 2014 blue balls or all the rain ugly shit that you can't tell what the fuck and team of the monsters. But again, you don't get money. I guarantee you, if you watch all the trailers on YouTube and clips, you've seen everything dealing with Godzilla and Khan. I guarantee fucking T. Look at all the clips on YouTube that they released. You've seen it all. I guarantee you 110%. Fuck this movie. It's sticked in their ass. It wasn't fun. It was a waste of fucking time. It was a waste of a title. Oh good. You got five. If you take out Khan. Demolishing Team. Uh, Mechagodzilla powered by Team Ghidorah. Honestly the, the fight on the ship. I could give a rat's ass about. So the, the Hong Kong, that five or so minutes, seven minutes if you're pushing it, pushing it, well that, that's in the midst with all the human stuff, like the humans, ship coming out of Middle Earth, and how Earth, but might as well be fucking Middle Earth, or Billy Bobby Brown being caught by the evil Frenchman or whoever the fuck he is, and Team the Door, I mean, uh. Bunch of guys that are going crazy. Want to be, you know, where the fuck is Lex Luthor when you need him? Ding, ding, ding. The red coats are coming. Sugar coats. I ain't going to sugarcoat this. Tired sugarcoating. I'm tired of sugarcoating shit. Yeah, I expect more of a $150, $200 million production. These films cost peanuts. And they know how to do a fucking group of characters well. And fine. You don't want to give me good characters? Give me the title about. Have the movie be about that. And you don't even do that right. You don't even do that. The movie's not about the verses. It's like, oh shit, we forgot. Uh, here's the verses. 40 minutes in. Oh, uh, here they go. They fight. Oh shit, we forgot. 40 minutes later after that. Here's them fighting. Oh, yep, they don't team up fight Mecha Godzilla. More like Godzilla gets his ass beat. And then Team Kong gets a super axe. Should have gone for the head. God damn it. Fuck you, Adam Wingard. Fire this guy's ass from Thundercats. Don't let him do Thundercats, please. Don't let him do face off. We don't. Don't let him do Thundercats, please. Please. They won't listen to me. Fuck it. People love the film. Good on you. Tell me why. I'd love to hear why. For the 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Because there's nothing, there's literally nothing else. What's interesting about the Hollow Earth? What's interesting about any of the story or characters or dialogue or music? Stuff that makes a movie, music, dialogue, character, story, anything. And you want popcorn fun? There's not enough of that either. There's not enough of that either. I need some fucking Tylenol. Later.